Hello everyone, it's me Pawan Bhujwal and I am from Rajaram Mukti Institute of Technology, Sangli. Uh, today I am going to present a seminar on actuators for robots. So now we will uh, start with the robot. So what is the robot? The robot is an electromechanical device that is designed to execute one or more tasks or we can say that robot is a machine that is guided by a computer program or an electronic circuitry so in picture uh, there is one robot which is giving a water to the plant so there are different types of robot we can develop so now consider a robot as a system so robot consist of the different parts like mechanical units, sensor units, actu actuation units, supervision units. The intelligence of the robot depends upon the program of microcontroller that is here program of tasks that is command which is given to the robot and robot will work in a working environment. Other uh, controlling parts are there like mechanical units, sensor units, actuation units, supervision units which is used for controlling the robot. Now these are the function units of robots that are mechanical units. Mechanical units are the robot's arms. Rigid links connected through a rotational or pre-mystic joints. That is uh, will be a supporting structures for robots. Now sensor units. Sensor units to sense the any position or anything. And actuation units. Actuation units means actuator for motion control. Actuators will be a motors, hydraulic electrical actuators, hydraulic actuators, pneumatic actuator. We will see in detail about the actuator in next slide. Uh, supervision units. This task planning and control means artificial intelligence and reasoning. Now we will come with introduction of actuators. Now consider uh, now we will see the process of actuation. The actuation is the process of conversion of energy to mechanical form and the device that accomplishes this conversion is called actuator. An actuator plays a very important role while implementing control and the controller provides a command signal to the actuator for actuation. The control codes aims at deriving the actuator when an event has occurred. Now see the actuators for robots. The actuator are used in order to produce the mechanical movement in robots. Uh, the actuators are the muscles of robots. There are many types of actuators available depending on the load involved. So what, to, what type of load is there, we can use different types of actuators. The term load, load is associated with many factors including force, torque, speed of operation, accuracy, precision and power consumption. So this is what that what type of load we have for that we can use different actua actuators for the motion control of the robot. So see the types of actuators. There are different types of actuators are here. Basically in robots they use the electric actuators that is electric can also call electric motors that is servo motors, stepper motor, DC motor and uh, some different actuators are there like uh, direct drive motor, hydraulic actuator, pneumatic actuator, magnetostatic actuator, shape memory metal actuators. So electromechanical actuators convert electrical energy into mechanical energy and magnetism is the basis of their principle of operation and there are difference, different motors. They are like uh, DC motor, AC motor, stepper motor. 
A DC motor requires a direct current or voltage source as an input signal and AC motor requires an alternate current or a voltage source. So now we will see different actuators like stepper motor. A stepper motor have capability of achieving precision angular rotation in both directions and are commonly employed to accommodate digital control methodology. We will see other actuators in next slide. Hydraulic pneumatic actuators. So, while uh, using the actuators, we must we should know that about the characteristic of the actuator or a characteristic of actuating system and how they work and how they perform the given decision. So, we will consider we have to consider some terminologies like weight, power to weight ratio, operating pressure for actuator. So we will consider a stepper motor. Stepper motor are generally heavier than servo motor for the same power. The higher the voltage of electric motor, the better power to weight ratio. Pneumatic system delivers the lowest power to weight ratio. And hydraulic system have highest power to weight ratio. So we, are, we have to also consider the stiffness. The stiffness is the resistance of the material against deformation. The steeper the system, the larger the load that is needed to deform it. Conversely, the more the comp compliant the system, easier it deforms under the load. Steepness is directly related to the modulus of elasticity of the material. Hydraulic systems are very steep and non-compliant, while pneumatic systems are easily compressed and thus are complement. The hydraulic system, uh, hydraulic actuators and pneumatic actuators are used in used for large loads so this is how actuation system works that is your power supply is there which is given to the power amplifier then servo motor and transmission a cause uh, figure shows the different electrical servo motors for robots which is a simple by direct dc current and which is also and second one is this is uh, also uh, uses DC current but it has a electronic switching circuitry for control. So electrical actuator. The electrical actuators are easy to con control. The range is from watt to megawatt. Normally with high velocity or a speed that is 1000 to 10,000 RPM. There are many types of actu electrical actuators. Accurate servo control. Ideal torque for driving. Excellent efficiency. The electrical actuators give excellent efficiency and autonomous power control. So these are the different types of electrical actuators as shown in the figure here. These are some actuators like mainly rotating but also linears when are available. These are the rotating actuators. These are the linear actuators. Linear movement with gear with real linear motor. So electrical actuator types. There are different types of electrical actuator. Servo motor, DC motor, brushless DC motor, asynchronous motor, synchronous motors, reluctance motor, stepper motor. And uh, most of the time, servo motor is used in the most of the robotics application for the motion control. Servo system. The servo is the mechanism based on the feedback control. The control quantity is mechanical. So we will see the property of servo motor, high, high maximum torque, high zero speed torque, high bandwidth, provides accurate and fast control, working all four, four quadrant and robust. Electrical servo motor have some advantages as well as disadvantages. Power supply available everywhere, low cost, large variety of products. High power conversion efficiency, easy maintenance, no pollution in working environment. The disadvantages are that overheating in static conditions. And these are again one point is there. Need special protection in flammable environment. Stepper motor. This is the one type of stepper motor. A sequence of a three or more poles is activated in turns moving the stator in small steps. 
very low speed high angular precision is possible without reduction gearing by using many rooted teeth can also perform a micro step by activating both coils at once so what is a stepper motor the stepper motor is a digital actuator where input is in the form of program analysis of rotor winding and output is in the form of discrete angular position rotation of rotor occurs because of magnetic interaction between rotor poles and poles of sequentially energized rotor winding so how we have to select the stepper motor so these are the some polling points are there on the basis of that we can select the stepper motor that is permanent magnet or variable unipolar or bipolar number of phases degree per steps micro stepping and also torque now we will see the hydraulic actuators hydraulic actually hydraulic linear or rotary cylinders and rams to provide a force torque needed to move the joints and are controlled by valve or manual valve the hydraulic actuators are used for the large loads this is the one figure which show the electro hydraulic and electro mechanical actuators the load is there here is the load the energy conversion takes place here and control strategy using gears pneumatic actuators like hydraulic except power from compressed air they take a power from compressed air uh, advantages are fast on off type big force with elasticity some disadvantages are that speed control is not possible because the air pressure depends on many variables that are out of control the hydraulic and pneumatic actuators are normally used for the large loads they cannot used in robots in small robots and we will see the other types of actuators piezoelectric actu actuators magnetic ultrasound and shape memory at all this is a one type of piezoelectric actuator these are also used in various applications thank you thanks for the concentration and we will see other parts of the ro robots like sensors mechanical units in next lecture